Interest rates, they are rising once again with the Federal Reserve Chairman today announcing a quarter point hike. It's a small raise, one meant to curb stubbornly high inflation without cooling spending so much that the country enters a recession. In making today's decision, Federal Reserve Board members also had to consider the ongoing international banking instability, with two U.S. banks collapsing in recent weeks and European banks like Credit Suisse nearly collapsing before governments intervened and arranged a buyout. So today's rate hike will have ripple effects, no doubt, across the nation, including right here in our region. Local businesses will likely change their interest rates, and you might have to pay more for major purchases if they require financing. The process of getting inflation back down to 2% has a long way to go and is likely to be bumpy. Cautionary words from Fed Chair Jerome Powell ahead of a quarter percent interest rate hike. It's a small move, but one that could lead to higher interest rates on major purchases like cars. Well, we've had to be adaptable, but who hasn't? Ben Jeffries of Holman Chevrolet says a year of rate hikes means you may have to pay more interest on a car, but not necessarily. Would you like a uh, longer term and a more comfortable payment or a shorter term and pay less interest? And the good news is that if you do select a shorter term right now, no interest is still an option on a lot of our vehicles. Although rates are up, Jeffrey says a savvy shopper can still avoid that financial pinch. But he says it requires discipline and taking advantage of financing offers. While the Fed certainly has uh, hiked rates and uh, interest rates have uh, taken a jump as well, the good news is that because of new car availability getting better and inventories growing on the ground, a lot of manufacturers are offering promotional APRs, uh, which are great for the consumer. But above all, Jeffrey says avoiding interest requires planning. Budget now, plan now. Financial discipline makes a world of difference. The worst time to buy a car is when you have to. So start considering your options now. Uh, take a look at the lender that you might be interested in working with. Reach out to them, reach out to us, and uh, determine what you can afford. Uh, do it backwards. Say to yourself, this is my monthly budget, this is the interest rate I'm able to obtain, and uh, what sort of vehicle can I afford? situation where you will quite literally pay for poor planning if you are not set to go and you're trying to make a major purchase. Houses, of course, you can't exactly work your way around paying those off. It's a 30-year mortgage. You're probably going to pay more with higher interest rates there. And one other big thing, pay off your credit card debt. Experts say that can absolutely clobber you every time interest rates go up. So do your credit card interest yep. rates. But the one bit of good news, if you have some money saved, you can now get higher interest rates on that because interest rates, yes, they mean you pay more, but it also means your money earns more interest. So there is some good. It's just, again, financial discipline. Silver lining.